One of the most topical issues during the COVID-19 lockdown is the movement across the northern parts of Nigeria and indeed towards the south of street urchins, popularly known in Hausa language as al Majiri. And by virtue of their lifestyle and living circumstances, this group of people are considered a health hazard. And in the context of the fight against COVID-19, possible super spreaders of the virus wherever they go. But beyond all of these, there is a growing sense of apprehension, particularly in the southern parts, that there is a calculated effort by certain interests in the north to manipulate these movements for political and religious reasons. But how true is this? Well, to get a perspective, we are being joined now by a journalist and political analyst, Aliu Dahiru Aliu. Good to have you join me this hour. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Now, the Kano State Governor, Abdullah Ganduje, began the repatriation of Almagiris weeks ago to their states of origin. Now, they were moved to families they do not know and who cannot afford to feed nor even accommodate them. Was this an expedient action? Yeah, actually, uh, what I'm thinking is that uh, the family of this animal really know they were the ones who sent the uh, in Kano State. So the Almadri were sent back to their family so that they will take care for them uh, as we are fighting this COVID-19 pandemic in Kano State. Uh, however, I went to one of the camps or one of the NYC camps that uh, this Almadri in Kano State were uh, concentrated or were put in there. Uh, I found them actually uh, they were not given proper care mm. as to this, we are fighting this COVID-19. Now, Nali, would you say there is a calculated effort by Northern interest to move these Almagiris to the southern part of the country? No, I don't see there is peace because uh, most of the family of these Almagiris, they are not living in the southern part of the country. They are living in the state of Nigeria. However, there are some of the Almagiris that are especially from the Yoruba, uh, they come from the state like Oshun and uh, other states like uh, from the west, uh, uh, southwest of the country or uh, of the country. So some of them are going back to their states. Uh, but there is no plan that uh, uh, these al are moved to the south because we want to uh, uh, see them in the south. Mm. Well, have past and present northern leaders failed to foresee the situation with these al -Majiris. And should they be liable for the emerging consequences that we see? Pardon? Our past and present leaders of the country, northern leaders, have they failed to foresee the situation with the al -Majiris? And should they be liable for the emerging consequences that we see? Well, actually, what I'm thinking is that many people don't understand the al -Majiri uh, phenomena itself. Uh, and that is a problem. Without understanding the al Majiri phenomena, there is no way we can uh, find solution to their problem. So many past leaders that come and try to solve this issue didn't understand how al Majiri live because they rely on the expert opinions of columnists and writers that uh, who try to explain the situation without understanding the situation from women. I think that is a problem, and that is why we are here. And uh, because of these problems, I don't think that uh, uh, the emerging problem that we are facing today can be solved. Because it's like the, the recent leaders or the current leaders, uh, they inherited the problem from the past leaders who do not understand the problem itself. Mm. But it can be solved. But it is clear that politics does not enhance livelihood if development is not the focus. That's where we're going to have to leave it now. Aliu Dahiru, Aliu, journalist and political analyst. Thank you for joining me.